The product we designed was essentially a mechanical exoskeleton system that captures 11 degrees of freedom of the hand motion. And on top of that, we also added another function which allows two of the fingers to provide you with force feedback. Your motion of the finger can be mapped onto the sensors that we have in the, in the exoskeleton. As you're controlling the avatar in a digital world with our device, the avatar does exactly what you're doing in the real world. And when you hit a digital object with the tip of the finger, collision is detected by our program. It sends back a signal to our own device, which activates the actuators on the, on the device and it locks the joint, which means it prohibited your uh, finger movement from moving further inwards, and you can feel pressure on two tips of the finger. The main use that uh, we could see is probably in either robotics or uh, virtual reality. So since virtual reality is much closer to the consumer level than it was like 10 years ago now. In five years, I guess a lot of people would have their own head-mounted display. There would be a much more growing need in uh, you know, new types of gaming rather than just holding a game controller. You get to use your, your body, your hand, and all of, the, all of your own body parts to interact with the games. I think it's, it's going to be the future, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen very, very soon.